Hello, welcome back. Um, in this video, we're going to investigate the existence of an inverse function. In fact, we have two, uh, two different functions. One of them is a rational function. The other one uh, is a fourth order polynomial. Um, for the existence of an inverse function, we, the only thing that we check is the one-to-one -one property of the function. Uh, algebraically, what that means is that if your function has this equality true, okay. that should imply that x1 equals x2. So in other words, if these guys are not equal, that means that the corresponding function values at those points cannot be equal. So let's try to sort of like uh, set this property and verify that x1 has to be equal to x2. So to set this equality, we're gonna start with the function here. So we're, we're looking at uh, f of x1. So that is one over 3x1 plus one, and f of x2 equals one over 3x2 plus 1. We have two rational expression, expressions uh, set uh, equal, so we're going to do the cross product, okay? If you subtract one from both sides and these guys cancel, and dividing both sides by 3 yields That's exactly what I was looking for. So that means that 1 over uh, 3x plus 1 has an inverse, and you can go ahead and then find the inverse of the function by using the methodology. For the second function, the one-to-one -one property is not going to be satisfied because you take the fourth power here and then the second power here. In fact, I can find two different uh, values of x for which the function values are equal. So here we go. I'm going to go with uh, x1 equals 1 and x2 equals negative 1. And the corresponding function values are going to be so this, this, this implies that I found two points for which the function values are equal that violates the condition called uh, one-to-oneness, this condition. And when the function is not one-to-one, -one, you can't uh, talk about the inverse of the function. And here is the graphical outlook of each function. So we can also check the existence of, uh, of an inverse function by what's called horizontal line test. And what that means is that, so you're gonna sketch horizontal lines at different locations of uh, the graph, and then those lines should intercept the graph at, at most one point. Okay? So if you look at this one, so no matter what kind of horizontal line you pick, and the intersection is happening at only one point with the graph and the horizontal line. However, this one, fails to hold that property because if I pass a horizontal line, it crosses the graph at, um, as you see, two different locations. So graphically, I can, I can perfectly say that the inverse of this function exists. In fact, uh, in fact, we proved the one-to-one -one property for this uh, function. And for this one, um, we found a counterexample uh, like 1 and negative 1 for the points, x1 and x2, such that the corresponding values are equal. So, so graphically, this is the verification of the non-existence of the inverse function for, for this like polynomial. All right, that's the end of the video. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye.